year, and the sweet potatoes I planted back in June are ready to be harvested. These are purple stoke sweet potatoes that I actually started from slips that I made from a sweet potato I bought at the grocery store. Now, don't throw all these vines away. You can actually put these in water and root them and plant them in containers in your house or in a warm place to overwinter them for the next year. And did you know sweet potato leaves are edible? I'm going to save some of these for my salad tonight. At this point, the sweet potato skins are very thin and fragile, so I'm going to dig very carefully using my hands and, if I need to, a gardening fork and lift the tubers from the soil. I'm going to brush off a little bit of the dirt, but I'm not going to wash these because you need to keep them unwashed when you store them. Here's my harvest ready to be cured. I'll keep these in a warm, humid place. Uh, for about a week, and the curing process will toughen the skin for storage and also start the production of the sugar-producing enzymes that give the sweet potatoes their sweet flavor. After curing, I will wrap them in newspaper, put them in a cardboard box, and I can store them in a cool location for up to eight months. For more information about gardening, our Master Gardener workshops, or to become a Master Gardener, visit us here.